Hello everybody. Best way to open Picture Manager is just take the picture you want to work with, uh, right click on it, go to Open With, and go down to Choose Program. Make sure Microsoft Office Picture Manager is selected and click the little box that says always use this selected program to open this kind of file and say OK. Close out of here. Now to open the picture again we'll just double click it. This first picture to me uh, everything seems to have a bit of a blue cast. If you look at the boat over here where it should be white it's kind of bluish. So we can go to Edit Pictures color. Click on Enhance Color. Now you can put the cursor over the same white area and when you click that it should make it white. So it did and it also made everything very bright. So we'll go back to Edit Pictures, go to Brightness and Contrast and bring the brightness back down. Okay, that's pretty pleasing. Uh, the other thing to me on this picture is compositionally the boat is a little bit too much in the center vertically of the picture. So another feature is crop. Go to crop, grab a handle, pull it up, say OK. And that puts the boat in a little, a little more pleasing area, about a third in, a third in from the side and a third up from the bottom. This photo is obviously not very good. Uh, it's not horizontal. Uh, there's a blue color cast and this rail of the boat is very distracting. Plus the images are all, center of interest is all in the center of the picture. What I usually do is if the first button I hit is auto correct and you can either take it or not take it. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. In this case it did. It corrected the color a little bit as well as the brightness. Going to rotate by degree, about two degrees. Edit pictures and crop. And this time we're going to crop this rail out of the picture, and also put the boats in the lower third. Okay, and next, edit, color, and this time we're going to just move the slider away from the blue, make it a little bit less blue. We'll give it a little bit of an amount, 8, and a little bit away from blue. Makes it just a little bit warmer. Next photo is uh, the only real problem is the, the dist uh, distraction of these cars. So this is going to be a simple crop. We're just going to crop it. Pull this handle up so the dark car is out of the way. And then we we'll move this one in, get rid of the white car. Click OK. And it's a little better composition. And if you want to, just hit autocorrect. That'll brighten it up. Okay, the next picture. Now this one's not level, so it needs rotating. Let's start again with autocorrect. See what it does. It brightened it up nicely. So let's go to edit pictures and we'll go to rotate and give this in about one degree. Okay, edit pictures, crop. Say OK. And this one again has a bit of a blue cast, and again there's nothing white in here to uh, use the enhance color. So let's go to uh, skip auto correct, go to color, and we'll give it a little more towards the red side of the spectrum. These sliders are very sensitive, so they don't work real well, so it's better to use the uh, up and down arrows. So this gave it a little more of a late afternoon look. Uh, also, when you're editing to print a picture, uh, it's a little different than if you're using it for a photo frame or, or for a web. You, want, you may want a standard size. So go to Crop and 
look at aspect ratio here. You say a print, you want it to be 5 by 7. You click over here, and it automatically cropped that to a standard photo size. So let's go OK. Okay, the next picture is a little bit underexposed, so again, autocorrect, brightened it up some. Uh, let's edit pictures and go to color again. A lot of these are outside, so they have a bit of a blue cast, and we're going to warm this up again. Uh, another thing you can do while we're in this color category is if you want to make a real simple black and white, you can do it from this panel. Just grab your saturation, move it all the way down. Uh, since it's an RGB, you also have color channels in it. So you can play with the other, with the hue and the amounts you know, to change kind of the way it looks. You can also just give it a hint of color by bringing your saturation up. In this picture, we're going to crop out the man, so we just have a shot of the boy. Crop tool handles. Okay. Now, the problem with this is that he has a bad case of the red eye. Zoom way in. Go to Edit Pictures and Red Eye Removal. Take your cursor and click all over the red areas. Select OK. And that got rid of the red eye. So we zoom back out. Now the picture is obviously a little overexposed, so let's go back into brightness. Bring the brightness level down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, one problem with point-and-shoot cameras is that they tend to make facial complexions uh, a little bit on the red side. So a way to correct that is go back to color and take your saturation down a little ways. This gives it a more natural look. This concludes the tutorial, so I hope it's been helpful. And if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know.